It's drop time. We have a brand new Galaxy S20 Ultra, and we're about to see how tough the glass is. Now we're testing out the Ultra on its own because it's a completely different phone. For starters, it has a 6.9 inch screen. It also has a giant camera module on the back, which is not only big, it is thick as well. So that there might be a liability. This is the first and only S20 phone with Gorilla Glass 6 on either side. The rest of them have Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. So we're gonna be testing both sides today. Now this phone does come with a screen protector pre-installed and Samsung highly advises you to leave it on. So that's what we're gonna do. Because it has so much glass on the back, we're gonna start with the back down from hip height around three feet. In three, two, one, drop. Woo. So it landed screen side up, so I don't know what happened uh, to the back. I'm gonna show you guys first and turn it around. It, oh, that's really sad already. Let's take a look at the exterior first though. So as you can see, the Gorilla Glass 6 on the back did not hold up to this fall from hip height. It is basically shattered on all edges except for this top edge over here. I would say the biggest ones uh, are these on the side. There's a fracture going through the phone down to the other end over here. And then it kind of just continues to expand to the other side. Now, there is some damage to the glass itself, even though it didn't break. It just has a few little scuff marks as well. As I'm running my finger through here, I always do this. I have yet to get cut, so don't worry, but it, it does have a couple of shards falling off of it. Uh, you would want to put a case on it if you're gonna continue using this phone, which you actually can. The frame itself looks decent. There are... No visible scuff marks on the metal frame that I can tell yet. However, it did land pretty flat on the back. So I wouldn't say that's a good judgment of the frame yet. Now let's take a closer look at the camera module because it's surprising to me that with how much breakage we see on the back that nothing happened to the camera module itself. There's a little tiny, tiny little bit of damage over here, but it's really, really minor. Now let's test them out because just because we don't see any damage doesn't mean that it still works. So that's the telephoto lens right there. Seems to be in working order. I'm gonna do the wide angle. That seems to be all right. And that ultra wide angle is still intact. Now let's see how the front holds up. Same height, screen side down in three, two, one. Again, I don't know what happened to the screen. I'm gonna let you guys take a peek first and oh man. So despite the screen protector, this screen is already broken. Sure, it's it's tiny and over here in the corner, but it's already kind of has little bits of glass falling from it. It didn't land flat down. It kind of landed on this corner where it broke, but this phone it has a slightly curved screen and this in the past has been that weak spot of the phone. So I'm glad that we're testing it out. And as you can see, the screen protector is not going to protect the corner of the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off so that you guys can take a closer look because I don't know if you can fully appreciate the damage to this phone with that screen protector on. You know, I think the screen protector did prevent it from going up further on the phone and it's still, I guess, usable. This is another place where it hit. There is damage to the metal frame. There's damage to the screen protector. Actually, I'm gonna lift it up because I think there's glass. Nope. That might have been the plastic. There's a little bit of damage on the glass, just a scrape. So yes, the screen protector will help to some degree, but if it lands on that weak spot, there is no protecting it. We're gonna take that screen protector off and continue with our tests. We broke the front, we broke the back, not a lot left to break, but that camera module, and that's probably why you paid that ultra price. So for our final test, we're gonna drop it from eye level, which is about five feet, to see how that camera module holds up. Here we go, in three, two, one, drop. Whoa.
that did not quite land exactly how I wanted it. So we're going to take a look. Not a lot more damage than it had already sustained because it really did hit this top corner. As you can see, it took all of the impact on the metal frame up here. This side did continue to break a little bit because we didn't have as much damage on the glass on this side or in this corner, um, but most of it was absorbed by the metal frame. So we're going to do this one more time on the back from eye level in three, two, one, drop. That one didn't work either. Third time's the charm. In three, two, one, drop. You guys get to see it first, and then I get to see it. What? Okay, there's still no damage to the camera module. The back is completely shattered. Uh, there are spider webs everywhere on the corners of this phone. Those edges are completely shattered, but the camera module is intact. Maybe there is a reason why it is so thick and so large because, you know, we dropped it from eye level and not even a crack. There's a little bit of damage to the frame but it is minor it you can barely see it there's just a little scratching over here on the frame on the side now we're going to take a look at the camera itself there's the telephoto the wide angle and the ultra wide angle and everything still seems to be okay on this side as well as I'm looking closely at the camera module there seems to be a little bit of debris over here on this lens, but that might have been there before. I didn't really notice it before, and it doesn't seem to be affecting the camera itself. Well, that does it. The glass on the back did not do so well. The glass on the front didn't do so well, but that camera module, which I had the least faith in, survived five different drops. Now, keep an eye out for our S20 drop, because that one might be completely different. Wondering why we drop it out here on the sidewalk? Well, let me explain. It's because the impact itself is not enough to break the phone. It's the combination of the damage, say from a rough surface, and the impact that really does the job. So there you have it.